Christian, I want you to work on some shots here. When you're shooting from the top, you shoot different than you shoot from the side. This side over here, I find you shorten up your swing. Whereas up here, when you're shooting up here, you're backing up, you're dropping your hand, and you're getting your whole body into it. You just work on getting through the shot. Through it. You should try and get two shots a game that are like those ones there that you just took, like two hard bullets. As hard as you can shoot them, driving through. But don't get into the habit of just trying to redirect pucks from this side. Really step into them, okay? Yeah. In the midst of a five-game road trip, Pittsburgh had won a season-high seven straight games. But all that mattered was the next one. Considering the history of last year, and the playoff series, our first game against the Rangers, we have a chance to get back into a position where they don't feel that they have an advantage over us. The Rangers score off the faceoff. Tough loss to swallow. We just came out flat. It was a little frustrating, you know, especially that we lost to them in the playoffs. We were playing a lot of games during that time, and it was just not our best one. In New York, nothing resembled the way we really wanted to play the game. So getting into Toronto was a good opportunity for us. It's a shot by here. I think Dupuis got it. We've done a good job of responding all year. We haven't lost back to back. We needed those two points against the Ronalds. After that, we were allowed to think about the Rangers. They won the series last year, and then they came in with the first win. Now we had a chance to get back at them. We had a chance to win a game. Here's Hornquist right down the alley. Goes left side. Pellers jumps and scores! Shot now by Girardi, and three to save, and the Rangers pop home the rebound. Little Hawkins just ran right over Girardi. He ran right over Stahl. And the Rangers come to the aid of their defenseman, Girardi, who's still down. Boyle, defenseman. It's a chance to win it for New York in the shootout against Flurry. Boyle in on goal. Where's the puck? It's in the net. He scores. The Rangers win. Half our team was taking off all their equipment there, and the coaches came back in and said the goal didn't count. What do you say? What do you say? Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, the Ranger player shoots the puck, hits the post, goes back off the Ranger player in the net. It's a double hit and no goal. Somebody just got in a room and they just started over. So Flower put all his gear on and go out there and make the save. I mean, that was unbelievable. I was just happy to have a second chance and to get back in there and get that win. And the he makes the save! The Penguins get the extra point! Oh, five! It was a weird situation, it was a unique situation, but it was really exciting for us to get the win against the Rangers. We knew we had to rebound against them. No crazy, a little bit like a movie story, but the good guys won, so that was good. But the plot thickened. One of the good guys was curiously missing. Dupuis felt sick, went to see our doctors. We went to Montreal, so we didn't really know anything. An NHL roster is a constant juggling act. While there was uncertainty in one hand, there was relief in the other. Ole Matta returned to the lineup having missed only six games after a cancerous tumor was removed from his neck. Hockey wasn't on my mind. Obviously it was shocking first time I heard of it, but I tried to find everything out about it and uh, you know I find out it's actually not that dangerous. I can't compare mine to rare and fatal kind of cancers. It was found early. The hardest part was telling everybody else. I was fine with it but word cancer is always scary and telling your parents and brothers, even your teammates, that was probably the hardest part. Oh the warrior. From the moment he found out he acted like a professional. The guys supported him, guys were around him and you know whenever you get something like that happen it brings the team closer together. Bennett. Snaps it right to center, he scores! To have Ole back, to bring that stability back at the blue line was nice. Ole coming back after having the surgery, rebounding like he did, it was great to see. And everyone was waiting to see what was wrong with Pascal Dupuis. We're here to announce that Pascal Dupuis is being treated for a blood clot and will be on blood thinners for at least the next six months and we'll be out of our lineup during that time. It's not a great situation to be in, but that's the card that I've been dealt. The hockey stuff, the knee, the, the puck in the neck, this is all stuff that 
you come back from, you're a hockey player, you're, you're supposed to come back from that stuff. But the other stuff, the cloud, the lungs, it has nothing to do with hockey, you know, it, it's life threatening. It was hard because I battled quite a bit in the last 10 months, you know, to, to come back to a certain level. Didn't want to say anything because I knew I was coming. Definitely hoping for something different, but I kind of felt it going through. So that's when I gave them a couple of hints that it could happen again and they uh, go get checked. That was really tough news and it, it was pretty well devastating for everybody. His energy, his enthusiasm is contagious. It was a tough situation. As a team, we had such a bad luck with these. That was something that hockey comes second. He wants to make sure he can be with his family and kids. That was some scary news. I found out uh, that morning, I think early on. I wanted to be there for him and another tough news for a team and for a friend. And I'm glad they were able to find it quick and hopefully he can be playing with us again soon. It's a tight room, you know, we've been through a lot together. The fact that they were there added on to the emotion definitely when I was standing there on the podium. There's no real preparation for it. All you can do is be there for him as a teammate and it's not something you like to see. And, you know, I think everyone just tries to, to react accordingly and, and make sure that we're there for him. Come on, Denver. There we go. The locker room stuff is where you really miss them, making fun of situations when we're not, uh, you know, feeling as confident as we need to as a group. We're just happy they found in time. We're just hoping for him to get to a normal life and make sure he can get back on the ice. My message to him, just spend more time with his family. Life's still good, you know, and try not to think bad things, you know. You have to think of yourself and your family and, the, and your loved ones before hockey. They're the most important one in my life right now. Just got to be healthy for them. Kids all reacted differently. My girl, my wife, to protect herself. She tries to think about something positive on everything. She's, she's almost 11 now, and, and the first thing she said is, like, great, we'll, we'll go to Quebec for Christmas. Daddy doesn't play hockey right now. My son just reacted a little differently. He started, uh, started crying and punching stuff, just why, you know? And uh, the little one, she's, she's still too young, but uh, the, the way the one that's started running and went upstairs and stayed in her room for a little bit. Six, six years old. You're like, okay. It's, uh, it's home a little bit. Tonight, the Penguins on home ice against the New York Islanders. The beginning of a back-to-back -back series from the Islanders coming to town, just three points behind the Penguins. Pascal Dupuis in the building. And the crowd responding with a standing ovation for Pascal Dupuis. And rightly so. You can see the emotion from the fans. And you knew from our team what they think of Pascal. He's an important part of this group. He's been the voice in the dressing room. He makes guys smile. He brings energy every day. He's just a big part of this city and this team, and he deserves that respect. That shows how good of a sports town this is, how good of fans we have. It really feels we're part of a family. He told me you only know, had to uh, hold it in a little bit. We really did get emotional. The fans, uh, it, uh, the reaction was, was unbelievable. Seeing all the guys, uh, standing up and banging their sticks at the uh, kind of head home. Pascal Dupuis lived on one of the Penguins' top two lines. With him out, that opened the door for Blake Como. Right up, right up! Cross, cross! Uh, I feel like tonight's the night where you have that Merrick Malik moment where you go like number 14 and you do that between the legs, roof it. Sick. I can do that. Blake's been awesome the whole season. He's really picked it up. He's been a real factor in our team winning games. Since the beginning of the season, I think he's been contributing uh, different ways and was getting some goals, some big hits. He's got some speed, you know, so I think he's been a uh, key player for us. The great team can adjust and play with anybody, so that's, that's what our goal is. When someone goes down, we, we got our confidence in the next guy to step up and do his job, and I think we're proving that right now. Look out, we got Portuzo. Is it Martin? Portuzo's not letting up. He wants to keep coming. Wait, Bobby. Malkin just comes down the way. Looks back. Hornquist scores shot. He scores! It's that quick release by Hornquist to tie it up here. No ice cleaning for the shootout. Hey, Tavares is that quick. Tavares is usually just quick. Tavares swinging wide. Tavares to the goal. Crosby in on Johnson. Ah! Ah! Trying to win it for the Islanders. Oposo in on goal. He scores. And the Islanders win. And these two teams, within 24 hours, we'll be seeing them again. Oh, no. yeah! Yeah! Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on, Gregson. Here we go. Here we go.
The Islanders are a team that are on the rise. They a lot of speed. They can score goals. They love to go on the attack. They're a good team. we got to play our best to beat them. They're not the same team they were a couple of years ago. They're a real factor in this league. The Islanders make it for Those are two very tough games. The next time we play them, there are a few things I believe we can do better, which will help our result. with some room up the left wing. Bergeron and Otto defense when he's back. Malkin shoots, he scores! Evgeny Malkin wins it in overtime and Mark andre Fleury has registered his 300th career win. Tremendous accomplishment by Mark andre Fleury and Evgeny Malkin. Being the third youngest goaltender to get the 300 wins, it's really amazing. 300 wins, it shows how good of a goalie he is. Flower is awesome, so you know, you give him a hug, you shake his hand. He's definitely a big part of this team, everyone loves him. And when you see a guy like that achieve something like that, it's special. But the third youngest goaltender to uh, get the 300 wins. Every shootout, I've scored 10 goals. I know how he wins 300, I know. It's surprising me. We don't often identify individual accomplishments. It's a team game, and we talk about team things after games. But that night there was different. It was a chance to recognize Marc Andre for his accomplishment, and it puts him up there with some of the greatest goaltenders around. Uh, I, I didn't set you up, no. I didn't know about it. The battle of my gear. Oh. It was a tough one. Just in the eye, I think it was just burning for a while. Boston, it's always a tough building, tough place to play, so it's a great feeling to get it done. Simple is my middle name. Let's go. Time, time, time! Good play, buddy. Good play, buddy. Good play, buddy. Moves it back to the point to Mata. Now they're going to have a draw with that on the stick. Both have centered it. Back edge of the goal! Mike Como! Holmes from his knees. Not a bad start here. Heads up, Hart. Coming over. Man, I was so close. I lost sight of the puck and went right through the crease. I was going back. Like, he went right past my f***ing stick. We got to get the next one here, eh? Kunitz with a drive. He scores! Heavy check there by Como. Nice hand on a white Combs! Boom, boom, boom! <laughs> hey, Bozak! You want me to f***ing red goal you? Bozak takes off against Latang. Latang's gonna try to close him. Here he comes. He scores! Bozak with a short-handed goal. Bozak, you piece of Is he a good dude? Bummer. Kill the f***ing ice now, let's go! Great job, boys. Hey, great job. Double silky mitts there. Hey, Coles, what you eat today, old buddy? Smoothie. Sick. Strong. And one more. And just one more. That's it. That's it. Boy, Coles, let it go. Watch my teeth. Awesome, baby. Blake had a great start to the season and it keeps going. He's done a good job and he's filled in a lot of spots for us. That night there to get three goals for Blake, he just took over the game. Blake Como's third goal of the game was assisted by number 87, Sidney Crosby. It was his 800th point in the NHL. 570 games, 800 points. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, that's. Uh, that's crazy. I'm just very happy he's on my team, you know, so I don't have to worry. He's the best player in the world right now. I think it's awesome to play with him and definitely great to be part of those moments. Moments turn into momentum, something the Penguins were hoping to carry into a home-and-home -home series with Carolina. Okay, we want to establish our game right away. For our forwards, let's make sure we get heavy on the forecheck. Heavy on the forecheck right away, establish our physical game, get your hits, have a good stick, and make sure we're changing hard. Good start, good start. Quick, 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 quick. Gino's got to be slashing towards that puck. On that center ice draw, be ready whatever way the D comes to come to that support because we're going right up on it, right? Work them there, work them there, grind on them down low. That's your change. Into the Penguin zone, shoots in a clip and deflects in right in front. How do we get caught in that change? It's really businesslike. He's really passionate about the game. On the bench, he sometimes gets pretty emotional. It's 
Sometimes it's pretty funny, but you know, that's good to see like coach in it too. When those puck battles low, you got space. Behind the net for Malkin in front, Kovac! Oh, what a save by <laughs> Ward! Did he stop that? I try to see the game as my most important thing. What are the matchups that are working? Who's playing well for them? Who's playing well for us? You're making adjustments on shift length of 40 seconds. So you're constantly watching and being aware. So I try to make sure that my focus goes into those things and I don't let it get distracted. Adams trying to gain the red line, couldn't do so. He's got a step, here he is shooting, he scores! They can't turn the puck over there. Let's go, let's go, let's go, quick, quick, quick! Their transition game is way faster. He tries to power in. Mata kept it from going to the net. He hauled it down. Relax here. Get the kill. Relax. If I'm too involved with the officials, I'm upset about a defenseman's play that he's made. If I'm too wound up in a situation, then I don't see the ice well enough to make sure that I know exactly what's going on. The nice that we haven't shown up. He corrects that. He keeps on top of us, and he's been doing a great job with us. November came to an end having seen the Penguins play 14 games in 29 days and tie a franchise record winning 10 games in a single month. Bobby Hortworts. I think our November schedule was one of the worst months we had, so to get the chance to get 10 wins is an accomplishment for us. Another month, another accomplishment for Marc-Andre Fleury, recording his fifth shutout in just his 19th game. It's nice. I haven't had too many goals in my career. The way our team's been playing, it's a huge help. It's a pretty big thing for us defensemen, too, if Flower gets a shout-out. Guys have been battling hard. Keep it out of our net, and it's been good. Tonight, the Penguins on home ice against the Vancouver Canucks. Hey, here we go, Sid. Come on, Ollie, hey! Yeah, watch him cheating. Big-time cheater. <laughs> ah! He's a he's a ah! Punch right in the... Hard. The block, yeah. right in the <laughs> Yeah. Hey, take one, save a goal. Right on the gloves, right on the gloves. No, he had his stick right in my gloves. You still made your pass. You had made your Is pass. Is that not still not? No, there's then it's okay if I can make my pass? Yeah, there's got to be a consequence there. When he puts it in down low like that, if he, okay. if he gets you up here, you're going to call it every time. But you still make your pass. I'm so just so left. strong, I can still make the wow, play. You're so talented. No, no penalty there. The then. average player would have been a penalty. Matthias gets the puck in behind the Penguin goal. Sets it up for Richardson, a shot and a score. How many chances they got like this? Dan went to play the puck. Uh, he played there, Canucks have scored right back on the attack. Come boys, hey, don't get frustrated here, hey, keep it going. Rice comes out of the net, he's pressured. Put it in front to Richardson, the Canucks do and they score again. And your final score, the Vancouver Canucks three, and the Pittsburgh Penguins nothing. After being shut out for only the second time all season, Pittsburgh rebounded against Ottawa. Thanks in large part to some shooting advice Christian Ehrhoff received from his head coach a few weeks prior. Just work on getting through the shot. Through it. Try and get two shots a game that are like those ones there. They're hard bullets. As hard as you can shoot them. Crosby again, dancing with it. Over to Ehrhoff. Shoots and scores! Christian Ehrhoff from the right wing gun gives the Penguins a 3-2 lead. Up in the Cordova, baby! We're going forward! Buddy. Yeah, I just knew where I wanted to put it, and uh, like I said, it, uh, this time it went right where I wanted. Who loves chocolate in our family? Ooh. You. What do we call Daddy? A chocolate, chocolate monster. monster. The chocolate monster. Look at all these chocolate lollipops. We can put those in there. So do you guys remember what we're doing this for? It's for kids that don't have, don't have food on the weekends. Easy peasy, lemon peasy. It's blessings in a backpack, and all the money that we get to raise is going to go to the children. And what they get is a backpack full of food that they get to take home on the weekends, right? I already said that. You did say that, you're right. So what should we put in Daddy's basket? What do we got here? So what do you guys want to put in first? Oh, we got a picture of Daddy. Got it. What team are we playing against? Uh, I'm first. Should we do a jersey? Then do the jersey? Let's not throw them, bud. We want to make it nice so people can see what's in there. I think we're missing Legos. Oh, I see Legos. Yeah. What's the Lego? Do you guys remember what they call these in Canada? What's Grandma call these? 
What do I call them? Toques? A toque? Instead of a winter hat? Yeah. It's like that, isn't it? And this is where you get your video games from? Oh, yeah. yeah. iTunes, okay. App Store. Mom, are these all for us? No, these are for the gifts. We can get some later. Well, who's on there, though? That says Merry Christmas. And who's the picture of? Becky, what would you like for Christmas? What are we shooting for Christmas? Nothing? Vacation? That sounds perfect. <laughs> we'll put you in the basket. No! I don't even do it. I wouldn't put you in the basket. Yeah! The fact that it is around Christmas time just makes it a little bit more special. Being a mother, it's kind of one of those things that hits home a little bit more. You want to make sure that everyone has a special holiday. It's a pretty good thing to be involved in, for sure. I mean, everybody thinks of family when you think of holiday time. We call each other a family in the Penguins locker room. We've created such good relationships and been here so long, so it's nice to be able to, to give back, especially around the holiday time. To give back to the community of Pittsburgh, it, it's something special. I think all the boys and, the, and their families are having a good time filling their baskets right now. You gotta realize all the kids we, you know, I am and we are to, to be healthy and to have that, it's, you know, it's a, it's a good blessing. Not all of the Penguins have the blessing of health this holiday season, causing a few to consent to roles they'd rather not have. It's not nice that he's hurt, obviously, but help wrapping presents won't be a bad thing, so that'll be good. I'll yeah. put that on my rehab not to-do list. <laughs> the guys are trying to remind me, yes, uh, I'm like Slash right now. I'm like a coach slash a player, but no, I will always be a, <laughs> like I guess always, but right now I consider myself a, uh, player that is trying to, to help his, his teammates and his team to, to win a championship. My main goal is to, uh, to come back and uh, put my skates back on. Are we going to see you do that again this year? This, this team's got to win in the playoffs to, to give me time to come back and win with them. So I can, yeah. Pretty sure I'm, I'm, I'm playing hockey again this year. You know, work, gym, work outside in the ice, you know, and come back. Hey, where's my 100 bucks? Hold on, how do you feel about owing me 100? Uh, hey, tell me, how he scores shootouts, these guys? Worst hands ever I see, and he scores every shootout goal. It's not my fault. How do you score? Tell me. I go left, I go right, I go left again, and I just put it on that. Hey, you give me 54? Huh? You give me 50 bucks? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no.